This is a Permobil F5 power chair. This power chair is fully loaded. It has the 14 inch seat lift. Now this is the only chair, the F5, that has a 14 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs, and this chair also has the light package. It has the lights back and front, we'll cover that in a minute. So it has fully loaded, uh, as I said, 14 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs, and this chair goes seven and a half miles an hour the reason we have this chair here is because of the condition it's in. It's in fantastic condition. It's not new condition. I would give it about an eight and a half, nine on a scale of one to ten. It has 280 miles, 280 miles. So it was used for about maybe six to eight months at part-time usage. Uh, 280 miles. Uh, so this chair is going to be reduced price because most of my chairs only have 10, 15, 20 miles. But because of the light kit, and it's an F5, seven and a half miles an hour, and it runs like new, we have it here. So again, 280 miles, F5 power chair. This is one of the, this is a top of the line in speed and, and uh, in quality and everything. All the function on this chair can be worked through the joystick or through the switch box. I'm gonna do the seat lift from here. So I'm gonna raise the seat up. So you're gonna start at the down position at 22 inches, and if you add uh, 14 inches to that, you'll be at uh, 36 inches high off the ground. Uh, so this is your 14 inch seat lift going up right now. You can't even hear it. So this is your 14 inch seat lift. It's all the way up now, and this chair will still drive with the 14 inch seat lift at a, at a decent three mile an hour speed. I probably can't go three miles now because we're in here. So it doesn't drive three miles. This one will drive about probably a mile and a half. So that's your electric seat lift and this is me driving the chair with the seat elevated and all that. So this is your 12 inch seat lift right here. While we're at it, the F5 is called a front wheel drive power chair, meaning front wheel drive me. There's nothing on the ground here in front of your drive wheels. These are just tip wheels. If you were to tip forward, it would touch the ground. These are 14 inch non-skid wheels. You can see the tread on the tire is practically all there. You've got your lights front and back. You've got double suspension on this one. So as you can see, you can see the suspension already working here when I shake the chair. That's your back suspension for your back, your, back, uh, your back fork and you have a front suspension here. Both of them can be adjusted depending how tight you want it. This is your actuator here. It's a three point seat lift. So you can see the armature, how solid that is. Your actual motor is in here. So you have three point, holds the seat real steady to the chair. You've got an anchor point here. And you have an anchor point inside of your chest. You got one here and one behind the fork, the fork right here. You have two on each side, so if you need to tie your chair to your van. There's two motors. The motors go from here forward to the wheel, all direct drive. If you need to put this chair in neutral, this chair weighs 400 pounds. So you can't really push it if it's in gear. But if you want to push it, you would turn the power off on the joystick. And you have a neutral lever on both sides for each motor. Push it down, and you're in neutral. Both motors, then you can push it. Back up, and you're back in gear. Always turn your power off when you put it in neutral, but you'll still get resistance even though it's in neutral if the power is on. So you're looking at the 14 inch seat lift right there that I'm gonna bring back down. You've also got a swing away joystick. This joystick can go on the front, it can go on the left side. If you're left-handed with no problem at all, we can switch it from one side to the other. The arms can flip out of the way. These are lateral pads. There's a lateral pad on this side, there's another one over there. They can be moved all the way up to here. Keep your leg on the foot plate or keep your knees from buckling out. So these are removable. So if you're, if you're transferring from the side, you need to get in here. As I said, everything's you can just remove them and you can adjust them any way you want on this chair. Those are your uh, things. The next thing we're going to cover is the electric tilt. This is 
where the bottom tilts back. This is called your electric tilt. By the way, these are 16 inch, but they're gel pad. These are not your regular vinyl pad. These are filled with gel, so they're really, so if you're gonna be in this chair all day long, your arm on these gel pads are just fantastic. That's your electric tilt. And the next thing I'm gonna do is the electric legs. So these are the legs going up. If your legs don't go all the way up, this bring you tilt back down a little bit. Sometimes you have to tilt it back down for the legs to go all the way up. But these seem to go all the way up. And these are adjustable. If you're five foot tall, six foot three, we can adjust these. So if you want it to be, I'm not gonna, not gonna stay up there, but. So if you wanted some circulation, if you were sitting in a the chair, they wouldn't come down. This is the way, it would be one way to do it right there. This is a low extreme. I mean, you could also, you could also do it this way here, and you still have your leg higher than your body at this position here, you'd still be uh, in a good position. So I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring the tilt back down. And the next one we're gonna cover is the electric recline. So this is your electric recline, which is your back going back by itself. This is the electric recline here. Can't even hear it. Sometimes you can hear it, it's just, it just depends. Some motors are louder than others. That's your electric recline. It's called, this is a full electric recline. So this is what you'd be looking like if you were laying all the way down in your chair with your legs all the way up. And they are all the way up. So this is what you're looking at with the full recline and the legs elevated and everything. So I'm gonna bring the recline and put the legs back down. If you're going to be outside, make sure you keep your legs, you know, on the front out a little bit. Don't put them under the chair. You lose, uh, if you do it right about there, you'll have more clearance under your chair. So this is a front wheel drive, which is very good for outside, because if the chair weighs 400 pounds and you have a 200 pound, that's 600 pounds, if you weigh 200 and the chair is 400, all that weight is transferred right here. So you're getting a good traction. There's nothing holding this wheel from, from tracking. So front wheel drives are better for outside, a little bit better, especially if you're gonna go in the grass and stuff like that. Uh, they, they, they turn, they take a little bit bigger turn than a mid wheel drive inside the house, but it all depends on which room you have. So because it's a front wheel drive, the turning radius in the house is gonna be a little bit longer. So that's your, that's your turning radius. Uh, I'm going to slow it down a little bit way too fast. The seat is 20 inches wide by 20 inches deep. 20 wide, and the back of the seat is an air cushion seat. This is foam right here, or right here in this position right here, all we, and this can be adjusted. Usually there's a valve that's probably going to be in the back. It's right here, actually, right here. You can turn that valve and pump some air, and you can have the perfect, perfect firmness or softness for your back here for your bottom and this is contoured here a little bit right here you got lateral pads you've got a drink cup holder here that can be adjusted height and width and length so if you're if you like drink cup holders and this one here can be adjusted any way you want and it's right there at the end of the arm nice chair and you have a retractable seat belt that's an upgrade so it retracts itself all the way back in when you're not using it. Uh, we're going to cover the lights. These are your headlights. These are fantastic lights. Permobil. That's the front. This is the back. And you've also got flashers, I think. Or hazards. Yeah, you have hazards. And you have your lights. So you have hazards and headlights and tail lights on this chair. This chair is equipped with a light kit, which is very, very nice. So again, to reiterate, we've got a Permobil F5 power chair. But before we get there, this chair takes two batteries, like all power chairs, and they'll give you about a 13 to 15 mile distance, depending what kind of surface you're on, the weight of the user, and how hard you drive the chair. The mileage will differ from from one person to another. When you charge the chair, take your Primobil charger, plug it right below your joystick right there, and as soon as the light turns green on this charger or goes to full, 
The charger will shut off, so you don't have to worry about overcharging your batteries. The charger will shut off automatically. So again, here we've got a Permobil F5 with uh, four electric function. It has the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, seven and a half miles an hour speed. You'll see it outside in a minute. It's got the light package on it, uh, which is nice. It's got the 16-inch gel arm pads, swing away joystick, lateral pads here. This chair has 280 miles, so we'll have to price according to the mileage reduced. Leather back, fully adjustable headrest. In the back of the chair is like all the Pearl Bill, with a power button right here. We will turn the power off right here when we ship it. So this button will be turned off. You need to go here and turn the power on when you receive this chair. So if you're looking for the top of the line in speed, comfort, suspension, uh, everything you need, this would be a nice one to look at. It's in excellent condition and it's ready to go. So this chair goes seven and a half miles an hour. <coughs> You'll feel it when you're outside and you're going slow to fast. It'll surge forward to seven and a half miles an hour. It's a really nice power chair. Suspension is fantastic. Runs like it's brand new, very quiet, fully loaded, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.